Yes. Welcome back to We Can Walk About in our gardens and yours virtually. Uh, we're all about late winter pruning right now, and we're into the second reason to prune in the winter because you can beat pests to the prize. We're GardenAtoZ.org. I'm Stephen Nicola. I'm Janet, and uh, our daughter Sonia Nicola is moderating the chat. Um, this time of year, plants with cert certain pest issues, um, if the disease is vectored as in moved around during the growing season, you can get a jump on it now while it's not moving around. Um, if the pests are resident inside the plant, you have a chance to ha, 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 get rid of some of them. Um, and uh, some examples are, are oak wilt, for instance. Oaks um, are susceptible. This, this oak had to come down. You can see the stump right there. That's a, a sucker growth coming off of it. So it can be a new tree. Um, if you cut an oak during the growing season, the smell of the cut wood attracts beetles. Beetles fly from one oak to another and carry with them the spores that can kill a mature oak tree uh, literally in weeks. So you don't want to be cutting an oak tree mm -hmm. during the season, but you can cut it this time of year. Not much longer though. Yep. Lilac borer, which is a moth, lays its eggs on weak parts of lilac branches that have gotten to be as big as the butt end of a pool cue or bigger. They lay their eggs there. The mm -hmm. caterpillars chew their way through uh, damaged bark into the wood and eat around in the wood and then come back out. Um, they, uh, this, this lilac has been neglected and I'll be pruning it in, in a workshop at the end of March. Um, so it has indications. See this, the weak part right there in the hole? When a borer caterpillar first comes out in spring, they make a hole about the size of a pencil. But then as years go by, more moths lay more eggs there at that easy access place and the hole gets bigger and you'll find holes like that on a lilac. That's a branch that you should take out and you should take it out before bud break because shortly after bud break, those caterpillars are going to come out, the moths are going to fly and there'll be more of them around. But if I cut that branch now and put it through a chipper, or burn it, or send it to some place um, where they're going to hot compost it and chip it up. Mm -hmm. Ha ha ha! Uh, that many fewer lilac borers around for that year, and you can see evidence of lilac borers once the branch gets big enough. So the branch that's that Steve's pointing to right now, if you look, you can see two dimples in it. Whoops! Oops. I thought I had a, a closer up picture, mm -hmm. but two. You can see two dimples. Nice. So on a lilac. Um, on a, a plant that harbors pests like that. The idea is you take out old wood, keep it in keep new it wood, smaller. keep it smaller wood, whole plant ends up livelier. And when you're cutting, this is on a hydrangea, on a panicle hydrangea, when you're cutting back plants, if they should have a white solid pith, pith is the inside of the wood, but they don't, they've got a hole in it, chances are that there, there is a dogwood borer that gets into, into hydrangea. Um, there's a rose cane borer that gets into roses and they're in there. Um, so if you cut down to clean wood and get rid of that, don't leave it laying around, you have eliminated one pest for the year. Yep. Boxwood, the ones we were looking at with the brown on them, a lot of that brown is leaf miner. See the, uh, the, or the yellowy orange markings? That's where a a larvae of a, a, a wasp relative, little tiny, teeny tiny gnat type thing. The, the larvae is inside the leaf, eating inside the leaf. It is mining the leaf. It will, shortly after bud break, drop out of the leaf into the soil, pupate, and come out to start the cycle over again. Yep. If you cut the, cut the boxwood back, and get rid of the leaves, leaves. you've gotten rid of a great deal, a, a great number you, of your leaf miners. You didn't get rid of them all, of course. You never do. No. <clears throat> um, and you're always looking for things. I, I'm always looking for things. This is a viburnum. Uh, it's at Tollgate Farms. And I was looking at the viburnum and went, I have not ever seen that before. See the carbuncles? Now, I don't know what this is but it's not the way the other wood looks or the way the other viburnums See, this of this type. This clean. is a lantana viburnum. And uh, I file these things away. Uh, I saw a ginkgo with a, 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 a red. Wet, red canker on it and ginkgo wasn't supposed to get anything. It took, yep. me, it took several years and before it's things clicked, 
and you find out what it is, but you're always looking and this is a great time of year to look. Um, bronze birch borer gets into birches once they get to be a little bit bigger in diameter than this. So as long as they keep replacing them and putting yeah. in just little ones, they don't even have to worry about bronze birch borer. Okay, questions about pests and, and uh, pruning? Yeah, um, and you were talking about it with uh, um, the, you prune to get rid of at least some of the borers. Um, Mary Lou is asking, are there other options for getting rid of lilac borer? Um, you can coat the branches of the lilac with a, an oil, a horticultural oil, at the right time for when the caterpillars are coming out and they when they emerge through oil, since insects breathe through their skin, it clogs the pores that they breathe through and kills most of them. You can um, uh, you can spray insecticides when the moths are flying, but it's a clear wing moth. It's, it's not something that's big and showy. The, the wing yeah. is clear. They're not something that you that are, are real easy to spot. So, um, but the horticultural oil is one way to do it. But the best way in every botanical garden we've been to, the best thing that they say to do is keep pruning the lilac. They just take the big. You know, once up. they get over two inches. Yep. They're, they're, they're susceptible. Uh, and Stacy is curious about what do you do with uh, to cover the hole that's left by that borer? Like in the pith? Um, you don't, uh, you know, in that, no, you cut until there is, is no, no hole. hole. Um, we've taken apart branches like that where we go, well, I said, okay, he's in here somewhere. And I brought him home and take a razor knife and slit it open. And someplace down in there, there is a, a larvae. You cut down to where there is no hole. Gotcha. So that that's that's a, a good good note that that was a demo picture for the borer, not for the cut of the pruning. And yes. of course, you cut down as far as, I mean, at a certain point, depending on the branch, you might just decide that that borer has to stay because you can't take that branch all the way down. Is that correct? Well, you could do that. Um, you could say <laughs> most of the time. Most of the time, we'll we'll get rid of the bore. You can also take a thin wire and uh, run it and run it down the hole and pierce whatever might be down there. Um, and really quickly about lilacs, Mary Ellen is asking: Can all sucker roots branches be new trees? Yes, um, okay. there are some lilacs that are were grafted onto privet. I've had people say, "My lilac used to be purple, and now it's white." Yeah. Um, it, it's not done regularly now, but it was done that the, that the roots were privet and the top was a lilac. And so I've seen lilacs revert to being privet, and in which case any sucker coming up is going to be a privet. Uh, it, has a, it has a stinky white small yeah. flower, yeah. it's a privet. Yeah, um, we've got a lot more coming in. A quick one from Julie uh, about um, when to prune. She's curious if burning bushes are tough enough to prune even if the temps go down to 26 at night the three days after. Um, yeah, 26 is not a, a huge drop. I, I prefer it stayed above 28, but they're probably they're, they're probably going to be okay as long as it does, doesn't go up to If it's 50, a healthy 60. plant. Yeah. yeah. Um, and... Uh, Stacy, and maybe this is just lilac nomenclature. So the borer hole that you were showing wasn't in the trunk; it was just a branch. I mean, no, it was all... it was in the it was in the trunk, and uh, okay. I have before, and oh, they're on the way. Stacy was talking about the pith hole, the pith hole. Well, that was in the hydrangea. This yeah. is the lilac. The yeah. hole that we showed would, it originally was a pencil-sized hole, and then just was enlarged over the years by more and more moths laying eggs there, and and uh, caterpillars enlarging it. Uh, there are pictures on the website in several places of lilac borer holes like that. It, uh, um, there's a uh, an interactive page where you can click on what you see, and it takes you to what we did, what we think it, it probably is. Gotcha. And then um, Carol and Nancy are sort of uh, double teaming here. So Carol says, um, if you can't cut any more on a borer cane on a borer section, would you would you seal the hole? And Nancy says with rose borer, when cutting the cane, you cover the cut with glue. Does that work for other uh, borer pruned shrubs? Um, when you're when you're pruning a rose and using glue, you're using the glue to seal in the smell of the cut rose. You're not doing the borer. Can, these borers bore through wood. 
um, they can come back through it's blue. blue. What blue does is it, it seals in temporarily the smell until the rose can seal off and dry up those tissues itself. Um, in, in an emergency pruning on an oak during the growing season, you can use cover. wood glue to cover something too. But it is not a physical barrier to the borer. These guys, these guys can cut through amazing materials. That that is, I think, a great um, a great bow to tie on those questions. Then that, uh, yeah, yeah, they're coming through. Um, okay, I think uh, there are some more coming in, um, but some of them are are not quite about um, insects. So I will just keep collecting them for next. Okay, all right. So we'll go on to um, reducing your overall time in in pruning as a reason for pruning now. <laughs> 